Researchers in Philadelphia are now unveiling a scientific breakthrough in the care for premature babies. Michelle McCorry has more on that. Michelle? That's right, David. It's very remarkable indeed. New results are coming out of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia on how to help the littlest and most fragile babies survive. Scientists have created an artificial womb, or a biobag, if you will, to improve the care for extremely premature babies by using a first-of-its-kind water incubation technique. Now, this would mirror the mother's womb instead of using machine ventilators, tubes, and incubators. Now, in preliminary tests, premature lambs appear to grow normally inside the system for weeks. Human tests are still three to five years away. And to discuss this innovative technique further, we bring in Dr. Zahar Merhi. He's the Director of Research and Development in IVF Technologies at New Hope Fertility Center. Dr. Merhi, good to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. So, Doctor, this has been tried on lambs. What needs to happen for this to be viable on human babies? So first we want to make sure any study that's, that's started like that should be on animals and then it has to be proven to be safe in humans before you start application in humans, right? So we can't jump right away from animals and uh, studies in sheep to humans. So first we want to make sure that this um, artificial womb is not causing any damages on, on the babies long term, mm -hmm. especially for their lungs and their brains. And we wanna make sure it's um, basically the babies will not have problems such as cerebral palsy or mental retardation, or they're not gonna end up being in on respirators for the rest of their life. Now, how uh, significant is, is the problem of premature babies or extremely premature babies? Oh, that's a huge problem in the United States. I mean. Uh, the pregnancy in humans takes 40 weeks, and the reason why it's 40 weeks is because the organs of the baby needs to mature slowly, and the most important organs are the brain and the lungs. Now, prematurity, which is babies born less than 37 weeks of gestation, 10% of babies in the United States are born like that, so it's a huge problem. Right. And 6% of those premature babies are born severely premature, which is less than 28 weeks of gestation. And now parents are stuck with the situation where do they need to do everything to save this baby or they're just gonna let it go in a peaceful situation. And this is when the artificial bag come into play. If it's proven to be successful in humans, it's gonna be a major breakthrough for parents, for, right. for the whole country. Uh, absolutely, Doctor, and I guess the big question is how long before this could be used on, on embryos, before the technology is there to really bypass the human womb, if that is indeed possible? Um, I don't think this is possible. I think this is way too optimistic because the embryo is basically a combination of sperm and an egg, and they need a uterus to implant. An artificial bag is not enough for embryo to stick and to grow. So this artificial womb will be used for babies at around 22 to 23 weeks after development in their mom's um, uterus, physiologically. Still need the mother. Still need, Still the need the mother. mother nature. <laughs> Always. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Thank you so Zahra much for Mary. having thank me. Thank you. David, back to you.